Then the SD cut short and I had to delete another video to proceed. So, welcome to Cryptocarrion 101 continued lectures on how to keep your fish alive. Part two of this little thing, which is the value of the quarantine setup. As I discussed in part one, here I have my tri stand. Okay. 55 gallon, 10 gallon. Could be a sump, but isn't. My sump's actually over there. Um, but just, you know, pretend if you want to set up one of these like this. This is, this is great. This is a great setup for beginners. Because you can have something that most beginners completely overlook because it's a pain in the ass. Because where the fuck are you going to put it? A quarantine. And even if you do find the place to put it, it doesn't look good. This looks good. Well. And that's with a crappy light. You know, you could actually buy, like, some nice lighting down here. You get all the lighting matching. Oh, oh, that would look great. But anyways. So what you want to do with your quarantine setup? You really don't want to do that. Okay, see that piece of live rock in there? That's for tangs and angelfish only, okay? You want to try to get them eating other stuff. The thing is, as I was saying before, ick basically forms old eggs. That's the ick cysts. Those eggs fall off. And they're very dense little grains of sand, basically. Very, very small grains of sand. Like the tiniest grains of sand your eye can spot. Okay? In fact, some of those little spots might, in fact, be it. They might just be pieces of fucking fish food. For, you know. I, uh, cleaned the tank last night. Making sure that I, A, got it very, very clean so I wouldn't be moving around a bunch of crap this morning. And B, so I had a nice, fresh feel for it. That's what I was saying earlier. You want to get a nice feel for it. And I like this instrument. Maybe you can think of a better way to do it faster. But... Having this, let me see if I can focus on this. Having cutaway and flat surface is how I like to cut these. Okay, if you can get your hose to have both cutaway and flat surface, come on, you fucker. See? That's, I mean, it's as focused as I'm gonna fucking get it in it. Just to focus on the goddamn reflections. God, you're so crap. Okay, so, anyways, enough dwelling on that, I suppose. Oh, there's a nice flat surface here. But anyway, cut flat, cut flat. What that allows me to do is suck up the fish food. And, you know, for me, it's while also not sucking up and killing dead, you know, baby clownfish babies. Uh, but you get to scrub the bottom. I'm going to scrub it. You want to go over it slowly in long lines at first. Okay. And then you want to come from the dead spots or from the uh, current, high current areas and then just scrub in little rows back and forth. And um, I would do it for you now, but I only have one hand. So, um, scrub, 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 scrub. Just little rows back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And the slower you do it, the less you kick shit up, which is why first you go through it all slow in longer rows. Okay, and then you go fast in tiny rows to make sure you just scrub the fuck out of it after it's mostly clear. And then what you're scrubbing up usually just gets sucked up right away. All this food is food I just tried to feed these fish. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fucking clean it out in a second, but, you know, just trying to get them to eat. They're... They're eating a little less, both of them. I'm gonna go to the store and just get some fucking fresh mysis. I might try Rod's food on them. 
anyways. So these eggs, they're going to settle. Probably not in the high current areas. They're probably going to settle in these areas where this food settles. And you want to make sure you scrub all those areas where the food settles. And you can keep the cycle of ick from really harming your fish and killing them. And then that buys you as much time as it needs to get the salinity down and maybe order copper if you really feel you need to. I like Seachem Paragard personally. But, um, you know, that gives you time to get your medication. You have water. You probably have air hose. Okay, so no trip to the store needed. You can you can start fighting it now. If you have a quarantine, go to Walmart, buy yourself a 10-gallon. They might not have fucking, you know, Coopramine, but they got a fucking 10-gallon for twelve ninety nine. Okay, and you can get yourself a little aquarium top, go to Home Depot, get a 6,500 or a better bulb. Gives them a nice little spectrum in there. You know, kind of like a freshwater tank, but oh well. Do yourself one better, get an LED bulb. They got those now. I mean, you can just put an LED bulb right in one of these things. In fact, no, that's a, no, that is an LED bulb. Yeah, that's an LED bulb. How about that? Oh, no, 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 that's the fluorescent one. I switched it out. I couldn't tell on the camera, but then I looked away from the camera and it didn't look around anymore. Anyways, so my SD is probably going to run out pretty soon. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And I'm just going to keep on going into everything else I do for quarantine setups. So this, I have colored zip tie matching the colored zip tie on this bucket here. Because this is quarantine, all right? And I'm glad I did that because these fish turned out to be sick from saltwater fish. Um, they, they'll, they'll make it better if they die. They probably know I'm not going to kill the fucking fish. They probably know the damn fish is going to live. They're not Petco. And, you know, I'm not Margaret from Animaniacs or whatever. <laughs> I'm going to love you and squeeze you and hold you and keep you. I like the little chick from Finding Nemo. <gasps> fishy, 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 fishy. No, it's not. That's not me. Um. Oh, is algae starting to grow on the heater? I was gonna take those heaters out. I'll leave them in. Speaking of which, I need to get some more light in there. There we go. Closing the hood. Closing the hood. Closing the hood. Yeah, that was horribly cheesy. But, you know, I am the lost begotten Conquesco. Conquesco? The lost begotten Conquesco. With random Popeye impressions. That are also horrible. Like my jokes. Okay, so. Fishies. I'm just going to let them play until my SD card runs out. Because I'll probably just delete this video anyways. Unless it's like important shit. I usually just delete it. This is, I mean, this is nice and all. But I don't think YouTube's going to delete it. Then, you know, I don't really need, it's like not crucial to the survival of mankind. Like, you know, half my videos. Um, <laughs> odd thing. But, you know, happens to be true. So anyways, separate siphon hose, separate bucket, separate specific gravity meter, separate, and go ahead and stop that so if it falls over, it's no big deal. Um, anything that comes out of here. And it's going to be used in anything else. Or if you're just taking out of there to clean it. Like I might take these out of there just in case anything's sticking to them. Um, and if you are quarantining, I recommend it pull, pulling those at least, at least, at least once a week. Every five days is really a better window. Um, but they're hard to clean with the siphon thing. This, uh, it's just, it's under the current. So there's not a whole likelihood of a tomite settling on it. But... It's the reason why Pete's tail is 
looking the way it is, basically. So, hopefully Paragard and Hypersalinity will take care of that, because that needs to stay in there, because the fucking Tang is so skinny, she came in like that. So skinny, saltwaterfish.com, so skinny. I might ask them to send me another one. Because I, I really... <laughs> I have my doubts about whether she's going to make it. And now that Pete has it, I'm just like... I want to talk to them. But they're usually pretty good about making stuff right. So we'll see. I know it didn't come from my system, saltwaterfish.com. My brood stock system... I just showed you basically uh, almost a thousand dollars worth of clownfish. <laughs> Plain angel. Right here. You want the full thousand dollars worth of clownfish? Nemo. And of course, there is actually Myrtle. Hi, Myrtle. Look at her. <laughs> Smurfette smacking her in the face with her tail. You double damsel down there on the other side of the core line, Aldi. Let me, let me not drop my phone. Going to not drop my phone. Going to not, there she is, you old bitch. Yeah. Hey, Smurfette. Cunt. <laughs>